Okay. <laughs> I want you guys to name something that you can't live three days without. Napping, Netflix, maybe your phone, wrong. Water. You may think you can't live three days without your phone, but I guarantee you, you can't live three days without water a lot longer. I personally gave up drinking all beverages except for uh, water about two years ago. And I can personally say that my complete mental focus and my physical attitude has turned around 100%. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how most people don't drink enough water and the fact that they should be drinking enough water. However, it's readily available to us, especially since we're at Cal Poly. And how most people choose to drink soda over uh, drinking water without realizing the negative effects it may have on their life. So starting out, why is water important to us in our body? According to Medical News Today in 2016, they found uh, several things that water is benefit to us, such as lubricating our joints, mm -hmm. regulating our body temperature, forming our saliva, and many, many other things. Our body is made up of 60% water. And 70 to 80% of that water comes from the beverages that we drink, but it does vary by age. As you can see in the photo, Many of the major organs that we live on are made up of primarily of water, such as the brain is 80% water, heart 78%, and kidneys 83%. That's really surprising to realize that our main bodily functions are primarily made of water. <clears throat> One study at the CDC in 2013 did a questionnaire on a bunch of people and found that 7% of people reported drinking no water throughout their day and 36% of the people reported drinking only one to three cups. 35% four to seven cups a day, and 22% of the people eight plus cups a day. The 7% number really jumps out at me because I feel like everyone drinks at least a little bit of water a day, but there's still 7% of people that are reporting drinking none at all. Here at Cal Poly, we have uh, rights to 34% of the Well Rock Reservoir. However, we still pay fees to the city of San Luis Obispo to use this water. This is the water that is directly pumped into the school and pumped into these hydration stations. I'm sure you've seen these around campus pretty much all over the place. And back in 2016, ASI proposed to introduce 25 new hydration stations throughout campus. This project cost $156,000, which is a lot more than I initially thought it would be. But uh, at that time, they succeeded in implanting 25 new water bottle filling stations around campus, and now you'll see one in almost every single building. So it's really easy to get water and fill up your water bottle and drink it throughout the day. Moving on to why soda can be bad for you. Sorry. Um, Excuse me. According to Nutrition Journal, soda consumption is directly related to body mass index. And saying that the more soda you drink, the higher your body mass index is, and the lower body mass index is usually healthier. In 2015, Harvard University did a study on 40,000 men. They followed them for two decades, and they found that they were 20% higher risk at heart attack for those who consume soda compared to those who didn't consume soda. Now this doesn't mean that if you drink soda that you're going to be uh, prone to a heart attack, guaranteed. But it does mean that it's important to drink soda in moderation if you are in other uh, sports drink beverages other than water. Another study done by the American Journal of Health Behavior in 2016 found many surprising results that really jumped out at me. For instance, those who drank soda on a daily basis were found to be 2.36 times more likely to smoke than those who didn't. Those who drank in moderation were 1.36 times more likely to drink soda. Sorry, to smoke. And it's similar for alcohol. Uh, those who do drink soda regularly were 1.54 times more likely to consume alcohol in their um, high school career than those who don't. And I will say this study was done on 15,000 students in high school. They were given a questionnaire about uh, what their life is like and the activities that they participate in. Also, another big stat on that screen is that 
Those who consume soda were 2.51 times more likely to have drug abuse in their life than those who didn't. And also, finally, those who do drink soda were 1.7 times more likely to not wear a helmet while riding a bike than those who don't. And the, uh, those who drink soda in moderation, the numbers are a little bit lower. Now, all these stats are really, uh, really popping and really uh, eye-opening. But it doesn't mean that if you drink soda that you're going to participate in these facts. But it does, uh, it does mean that those who do drink soda are more likely to a little bit uh, participate. Today we've talked about three main things. The first is the lack of water in our diet. And the fact that there is access to water here at Cal Poly. And also the negative effects that soda and many other um, beverages have on our life. Like I said, I gave up water just about two years ago. And how that happened was, I decided to give it up for just two weeks. And after those two weeks, I decided I only want to drink water. Um, and I can say from personal experience that my life has completely turned around. I feel a lot better mentally, and I feel a lot better physically. I feel like I can uh, last longer outside on the sports field, and many other things like that. Today, I want to challenge you to start removing soda from your, from your diet. I want you to try for just one week and see if you notice a difference. I can almost guarantee that you'll notice a difference right away. 